What's going on guys? Sean Cuts here back with another video. You know who's right here. Jack's Cuts here. We got this design coming. I can't show you nothing yet. Oh. Anyway guys, it's Christmas week. I'm going to wish you guys all a Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm not sure what day this is going to drop, but before we get to the video, I got a surprise for Jackson that he doesn't know about. Let's Be right back. Oh man, you got the tag on the jacket. Turn around some of the jacket real quick. Oh, yeah. Just got this fresh custom made. Adidas. No. Adidas clutch gear. Fresh. You know my man got to stay fresh. Oh, the design. Don't let him see the design. I'm going to have to blur it. All right, go and get in there. Woo. All right, Dang. one by one, open her up. You got some cool hair. You gonna need that. Woo, stay gifted. Stay gifted. Your boy Matt gifted hands. Brush, brush. Some, some baby brushes. You gonna need those. That's fire, that's fire. Them Hawk Visions. Hawk Visions. All right, you can put it back in the box if you ain't got room. Hair oh. grippers. Some fabulous hair grippers. Maybe some combs. Just, just some, those are just some regular old combs, but you're gonna need lots of combs. Oh, sure. oh, got another one. Flat top comb. Big old fabulous comb. Brush. It's called a vent brush. You need to have a cordless trimmer, so. How to hook you up cordless, that way you can get the power man and have all your cordless set up. So, that's a slim line. We got the Tennessee Shave Gel. Shout out to my boy, Clean Cuts the One. Clean Cuts the One. That's no shout out. All right. We got a What's that? That's, hmm. Tell them the story. All right, so, uh, well, one day I came into the shop and I saw Sean flips it. Pull out, I was like, wow. I gotta learn how to do that. But you need your own. Yeah, I need my own. I ain't got one yet, so let's Bust it out. <sighs> Ooh! Nice. First rip. Uh, uh, so shout out to Sean, uh, everybody. Go follow him on Trinkets here. Uh, make sure to subscribe, uh, turn bell notifications on, and like the video. Alright guys, real quick, to start this video, I want to take a second to show you guys my technique on learning how to do my freestyle design. So, if you guys look right here, this is a dry erase board. We used it before in one of the videos. And guys, when you're sketching hair designs, if you sketch it on paper, you're adding a design to the paper. Where when you're cutting it out of hair, you're taking hair away. So, doing it on a dry erase board is going to mimic what it does on the head. So, what I do, you don't have to draw the hairline like this every time. You can just do a thing of black. But to help you guys get the shape, I would recommend doing this at first. And I know it's not pretty looking, but so for example, we want to come through here, start our little design. We'll just do a little cut up, down, back up, down. This is like one of the one uh, designs I've done in a video before. Right? So there's a little practice, guys. Take that, fill it back in, try another one. All right, guys. So for this video purpose sake, what I'm wanting to teach you guys, and this is the reason I started using the dry erase board, is when you start to use uh, hair as the design. So what we're gonna do is outline the hair, leave the hair as the design, as opposed to cutting the hair out and that being the design. So like at the beginning up here, say we come in we cut the hair out, which this is what you're about to see. We're gonna come down. Now say we wanna create hair as the design. As we go this way, we need to split our cut out and start to make the hair the design. So we're gonna do a loop. We'll take this and we'll just go up and make a little curve, the start of a loop. Then when we come outside of that, on top of it, we'll just come up. And you can see now, guys, the hair is the design. So then back here, say we want to start a part of a design, we'll come like this, square the top. Now we have some hair as the design, bring it back. Now you guys can see, bring it down a little bit, and we'll flip it out. 
So again, guys, I'm doing this right and sideways, but if you guys can see, this is kind of the design we're gonna do. And this guy's killer technique to help you guys practice leaving hair as the design. So try this out, guys. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, we're gonna get right to it. We're gonna go in here and do this freestyle design. And the, uh, the design I just drew on that pad uh, is more or less what we're gonna do here, uh, a little more detailed, but, uh, and as we're starting this, guys, the, the swirl in the middle is gonna be the focal point. So it's kind of the first part I'm gonna start at because I wanna place it right above the ear and make sure that I have room to, uh, to fit all that right in the middle. And then we'll work our way out both ways. So like normal, guys, we're gonna sketch it in uh, slowly, little by little, and then we'll clean it up. Uh, you see here I'm using my slim lines. Uh, that's because the slimline blade is quite a bit shorter than the T-outliner blade, or should I say the, the skeleton blade, uh, the T-wide. The so I like to use my slimlines for uh, sketching designs, especially when they're uh, complicated and have swirls like this, just so I can do a little bit smaller lines and then we'll go in and clean it up uh, with the skeletons. So uh, I'm just going to let this run and when I see, if I see I'm doing something that I feel like I need to chop in, I will. Otherwise, guys, just uh, tag along and enjoy the design. See right here, I'm going in. Now that I have it sketched in, I'm gonna come in underneath and cut everything that's in, within the design down to a half guard. Uh, just so it cuts cleaner, I can get sharper lines. How rough this looks uh, but as we go and clean it up it's really going to sharpen up and uh, that's that's really how you guys need to do it you just start little by little sketch it in uh, and kind of let it come to you if you go after it and try to thicken it up too fast uh, sometimes those lines will get away from you where you don't want so i know i've said that before but this one will really show you guys this is going to look really rough at first it's going to really come together as we go so See back here, we're kind of doing just a double outline like we have in other videos, uh, and then we will turn that into a shape up there to uh, kind of to fill some space and, and just add to the design. So now we're just going with what we got and working off what we have to uh, to add some dimension to it, uh, add some extra lines in there just to kind of fill up the whole side of the head. I'm going to slightly edge up his C cup there. We'll come here uh, here in a minute and fade that in, and you guys will see when we get there. Uh, and again, we're just double outlining here at the bottom uh, to add some more depth. Guys, we're just going to bald this out with the slim line and then take the skeleton underneath and then we'll use our close clipper uh, to cut up into that and fade that section in.
with some hair fibers. Uh, I chose to use hair fibers on this just because uh, spraying hair color with a trying to use a card uh, to, to not spray it on the skin is, is just too complicated on this design. So you guys can see we're just going to dust these hair fibers all over the hair. Uh, it is going to get on the skin in some spots, but then we'll go back in with our trimmer uh, and clean that out. And you guys will see this really start to pop and come together. Now, the only downfall with hair fibers is it's hard to use shave gel and a straight razor. Uh, and maybe if this wasn't Jackson, I would go in and dry shave it. Uh, but, you know, he's a, he's a younger kid, so I don't want to put him through that. So luckily my trimmers are sharp enough. Uh, and when we go back through here and clean this up, it's just really going to start to pop. So guys, enjoy the rest as it comes together. Uh, you guys can see the difference in using hair fibers. Uh, it's just going to make this design pop like crazy. So. starting to pop I hope you guys uh, can see how much that hair fiber helps uh, it's just a little easier to get on there and then when you push that trimmer to the edge it just makes those edges so sharp so hope you guys like this design guys if you will go show Jackson some love go to his IG Jackson cuts hair uh, he is my homie he uh, he had a great Christmas but you guys all go to his IG hit him with the uh, Merry Christmas and let's make his make his day so I'm adding this part right here guys I, I thought we needed to fill some space to be honest uh, at the end, uh, I wish I hadn't added it, um, but standing there, it looked like it was missing something. And now that I have it on here, uh, I kind of wish I had left it without that. But anyway, it is what it is. We added it, but uh, just can see this finished product coming together, man. This thing's looking sweet. Go in here and finish up this fade at the back, connect it all together, see the end result. See my guy Marcus there getting a uh, getting an Instagram clip. These guys, uh, this is the one thing in my shop that, that the other guys think they can't do as well, but uh, so they kind of trip when I do some stuff like this. But there you guys go, there's the finished product. Hope you like it. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, smash the like button. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you guys next time. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click this link right here. If you want to check out some more content from me, check out this video right here. Appreciate it.